Hey guys, it is GC2 results day on Thursday, and some of you are going to be getting fantastic grades, but for some of you, they might not be as good as you would expect. So, here are a few things you can do if your results aren't quite what you would expect. So, first of all, don't panic. I know this is so easy for me to say and so hard for you guys to do. But this is not the end of the world, so please, please, please don't completely freak out about this. There are loads and loads of things that we can do to work with the situation or work around the situation. First thing you need to do is to sit down carefully, look at your results. Are they enough to get you onto the course that you want? Because that's basically all your GCSE results will do get you to the next stage. If you're hoping for like A's and A stars and you ended up with B's, can you still get onto your A-level course? Can you still get into the college, the apprenticeship, or whatever it was you were hoping to do? If you can, then fantastic. Let's let's talk this up to like bad times, but let's not worry about this too much. Because once you've got onto that A-level course or that college course, that is the result that becomes most important to like employers or whoever afterwards. So are your results enough to get you onto the course that they want that you want to if they are super if they're not then we need to start thinking about other things like remarks now i've done a whole separate video explaining the process of getting your paper remarks um if you've got any questions about that then please 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 get back in contact with me and um i do my very very best to help you but examiners make mistakes that they're gonna make mistakes so let's make sure that a mistake isn't going to be your paper and then see maybe if you can get your grade changed. If your results are a lot lower than you expect, talk to your teachers, talk to your college. Maybe, you know, you've been a fantastic student all year and there was a blip or something happened and you didn't get the GCSE result, but your teacher still thinks you're going to be a really, really good candidate for A-level, talk to them. They may, you know, be able to just let you in anyway or make like an exception for you, but go and talk to them. Don't assume the worst. And also don't just assume that they're gonna let you on with whatever because they won't. You need to go and talk to your teachers. These are the people that know you best. Um, these are the people that are gonna be able to advise you best. Now you can always ask me, but I'm not, I'm not gonna know the specifics of what your school or what your college is going to accept. So your teachers are gonna be great people to talk to. If you can't get into the college or a level course that you wanted to, start thinking about other places. I'm sure there are loads and loads of other colleges nearby, and just because the place you end up might not be, you know, the fantastic, amazing school that you wanted to get into, doesn't mean you're not going to do really, really well. Because you are the person that determines how well you do, not the, the, the school, or not the type of school, or the teachers, you are the person that determines it. So do not worry if you are, end up going to a school or a college that maybe isn't as good as the one you wanted to. So good luck on Thursday, guys. Um, I'm here to help you with anything that you need. Please, please, please ask if there's anything that I can do to help you. Um, yeah, good luck. <laughs>